speaking of the icons, um, the Hak Tui girl. Let's talk about that in this hetero supremacy. Uh huh. The Hak Tui girl is being considered for several reality TV shows after landing a documentary about her life. The Hak Tui girl. I don't even know who she is. Somebody they were walking around interview just say, Seth, you gotta put a little hawk toy on it. Was she spitting on people? No, she was talking about spitting on a dick on a man. Oh. Hawk toy. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, so they've uh gotten her, she's getting a, a do, she's got a documentary coming, and um there's a network that's actually gonna or streaming service that's actually gonna put that out. Yes, about her life and um put it back up there. This is a mess. Where is this going to be airing? They might give it to our Hulu. You know, knowing how how the companies work. Again, we're back to hetero supremacy. Well, isn't she white? Yeah. There we go. So hetero and white supremacy yes. and privilege. Yes. She got about as much privilege as Trump. Correct. And we sit here and we see these things like this or whatever. And we black folks, come on, you ready? Mm -hmm. Can I say it, Craig? Yes. If I say it, will I be wrong? No. Craig, can I say it? Say it. We black folks will go, is, is going to help this person be great. We, we black folks are going to help that hop to it, bro. We're going to spread that documentary around the world. Also, mm -hmm. the other thing I sent you about the other girl with the $57 million. Did you get that picture? Yeah. The bad baby girl, bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't be knowing them people. The bad baby girl. You gotta tell me them. Yeah, she's yeah. made fifty-seven million dollars of earnings wow. on OnlyFans. What? On OnlyFans. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? But I can't even get these people to download my free Say It in the Card app. Catch me outside. Apple Catch me outside, buddy. <laughs> and I can't get them to download a free app. And you know what the black people will say when black shows and all this stuff comes out? Black good shows. I ain't talking about Zeus Network. Yeah. Shows. Yeah. I ain't talking about Zeus Network shows. I'm going to tell Perry. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Go ahead. I ain't talking about Zeus Network shows. I'm talking <laughs> about good shows that come out. Oh, I ain't watching that. Mm -mm. I ain't watching it. it. It ain't enough drama in it. I ain't watching it. It's boring. It, it ain't enough dysfunction in it. I, I ain't watching that. It. It's bo boring. I ain't looking at that. Why would I support that? Why would I do that? My God, today. And got the Kardashians on season 57. Listen. Because they making all of the goddamn money over there. They didn't went over on Hulu. Got the Kardashian seasons. They didn't took all of the money from uh, from E. And See now they over there draining Hulu. Season 57. They are tearing Hulu up. They don't even have shit to talk about no more. They just be going around shopping and throwing parties. Only talk about so much. Yeah, the Housewives of Atlanta still struggling to try to get it together, and the poor Braxtons. Oh, we hear the Braxtons and Oni. We hear the Braxton family value. Child, they didn't fall apart. They fought each other, and still wasn't making the kind of money the Kardashians were making. Taylor Swift. <clears throat> How can you compare Taylor Swift to Beyonce in any capacity? Okay, she writes about the same nigga that done broke her heart 50, 11 times. Okay, can I play devil's advocate? But yes, come on, help me. Now, 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 I will say, I do appreciate her using her voice and her platform to register people to vote. And she's been speaking down and out against Trump. So she, I do appreciate that. I love Beyonce and I've been waiting for her to say something. Get the beehive to get over there and vote. Get them to register to vote. That's it. Oh, they say Plyde's got a song named after the Hawk to a girl. That, again, this is what the colors do. 
we are our own and here and, and and let me go back to the thing that we were talking about craig earlier about uh the way that they do the girls a lot of you girls out here getting ready to go vote against yourself because you think it's going to hurt me and mine mm -hmm. and craig's mm -hmm. and all of our kind you you about to really go out here and vote against yourself right do we have that black and yellow um post melt mo with all of the different things for project 2025 not all of them but some of them that uh that's one of them this one? yeah this is the only one that I got. Okay, put click that. Like this is one of the things that is a part of Project 2025. Project 2025 would require all public high school students. So bitch, if you know your kids ain't in if you know your kids ain't in private school, you know your kids are at the public school, they will be re required required to enlist boy, girl, them, they, trans, whatever. They will be required to register for the uh, seek, uh, the the military, what's it called for the draft at eighteen? At eighteen, this is some of the shit that's tucked up under that project uh, twenty twenty five. Now y'all can keep looking at y'all can be nearsighted if you want. Keep looking from from a myopic standpoint, but you better look down the line. Because there are still five states with slavery on the books, and bitch, the way they, they the way they rolling back DEI initiatives, and the way they pulling back funding from small minority or women owned businesses. There are a lot of uh, women organizations and businesses and programs that were getting funding that are no longer going to be getting funding it's because see, they understand that when you educate a woman. Or when you educate a girl, you edu educate a nation. Because when you educate a girl, a girl will teach her brother, her boyfriend, yeah. her husband, her sons. When you educate a girl, you educate a nation. And so they are pulling money back so black women can't get funding for their businesses, education. Now, if you think they're doing that, bitch, don't think they won't have you in those five states picking cotton again. Keep thinking you're so far away from it. Amber Rose with her long neck ass over there speaking at the Republican National Convention. Did you see that? Craig, again. Again. There are some modern day niggas. There are some modern day house niggas. For real. Like just, just lost. Oh, did somebody said 50 Cent performing at the Republican National Convention. Oh, child, good night. Uh, but here's the thing. Craig, you let's let us let us play devil's advocate here. Some listening. some more. What is it? Financially. I mean, that's what I was actually just about to say. Girl, you do this to me every time. What? If the IRS is watching, I'm not rich. I'm I'm just middle class. <laughs> Financially. <laughs> if the IRS is watching, they're always watching. Well, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm barely getting by, girl. I almost didn't come here tonight, girl, because I didn't really have no gas money. I only make eleven thousand dollars a year. <laughs> get, 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 get my children out of here! Out of here, girl. I ain't got it, girl. I just used a food stamp card the other day. I only, I only, I only make eleven thousand dollars a year. I have nothing, girl. I'm Whitney Houston. I have I, nothing. I, I only make eleven thousand dollars a year. Eleven thousand five hundred. I'm right under the thing. <laughs> you're you're right under the threshold. I, can, I earn earn it earn income credit. L listen, girl. I'm trying to um carry more on my taxes. I'm right under that, girl. I need some dependents. Now financially, yes, we we would we would be Republican. But he's not doing it to appease you. He's not doing it to help you. Anytime, a first of all, because we only kind of touched, on, we only kind of grazed on him like that, like that piece of glass. Oh no, we're, we're going to be back. We're digging. <laughs> right, grazed across his ear. We're digging. We're here tonight. We've only, we're, we're only here. It's been an hour. Right, it's only been an hour. <laughs> Buckle up. First of all, I had no compassion. I'm going to be honest with you. I really wish the motherfucker had been taken out, whether or not it was it was staged or not. Whether it was staged or not, I don't give a fuck. I wanted him to be taken up out of here because, see. No, I, here's the thing. What I'm afraid I of, I, I hear what you're saying, Craig, and I'm not going to say that because I don't want, I don't know what they do on these channels like this. So you know what they do. We put hashtag Trump at the top of it. We don't know what they say. But I will say this. 
I'm afraid for the running mate. You know that he chose someone. Yeah, he did. And that man just was saying just a few years ago that he is um, like a Nazi. He called, he likened him to a Hitler. The he, one he chose? The one he chose is his vice president. Wait, but he didn't pulled all his stuff. I can't think of that man's name. Yeah, he didn't pull. He pulled all of that content off of his social media. The VP is from Ohio. He pulled all of that stuff from his social media. He basically said that Trump was a Nazi. He, he likened him to a Nazi, to a Hitler. And now because he was tapped to be his vice president, now all of a sudden, like this is the shucking and jiving that I'm talking about. Like when, you, when, I, when I think about like a Candace Owens, who's standing up for him and these, these Tim Scotts and all these other house niggas. First of all, you niggas wouldn't have even been in the house because you were past the complexion that they even cared about. You wouldn't even been, been allowed on the porch. Tim Scott and Candace Owen, Owens. You're past the complexion, bitch. You passed the paper bag test. <laughs> You're beyond. And so it's just like, when I think about people, like it's just like, what are you thinking about? Like, are, are, you, are you stuck on just the financial benefit of it? Because what about all of the other stuff? He had these children in cages, these Hispanic children in cages. At devil's the advocate, devil's advocate, devil's advocate. Wait a minute. Okay. And when Nancy Pelosi's husband, they got into their house, and he was attacked by a uh, by a man with a hammer. Trump thought the shit was funny. These same people who were at that rally are all in full support of gun control and not putting any type of sanctions on it. His ass should have got shot. When those children out there in motherfucking Ohio, I mean, Iowa, were shot up, he didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck about those people on January 6th that got killed. He didn't give a fuck about your family members who died as a result of COVID. There were things in place. President Obama had put things in place. He had put mechanisms in place so that if a pandemic happened, there were resources and there was protocol in place. That dumb motherfucker came in and removed all of that shit. So that's part of the reason why a lot of people died. That's part of the reason why COVID spread through this, through this country and around the world, really, like a cancer, because he didn't know what the fuck to do with it. He didn't know what to do about it. And I am so sick and tired of the Democratic Party trying to be so pious and so righteous, like uh, 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 Biden with his sleepy ass, going to place a phone call over to Trump and say, I, I just wanted to say, I want you to know that I'm glad that you're OK. President Obama, I love him. He issued another statement. My man, Gary Chambers down in Louisiana, he also said, I'm grateful that Mr. Trump was OK. Fuck that. Fuck him. You think that nigga, that white nigga would have picked up the phone and called any of them motherfuckers? No, he would have laughed. It he would have laughed. And it would have been a joke for him. It would have been a joke for him. It would have been a joke. Uh, so let's, let's ask a real question. What is it? Let me ask a real question to you. Sitting right here next to me right now. That stunt that happened mm -hmm. definitely placed him ahead. Because he's trying to set himself up to be a martyr. He's trying to look like he's sacrificing himself for the greater good. That's what a martyr does, right? They put themselves on the line. They sacrifice themselves to try to give this appearance or this perception that, they, that, they're, that they're willing to die for the cause. Yeah. He didn't sacrifice himself. Right. You're no Martin Luther King, bitch. Because and that's why he stood up trying to act like he was some fucking... Bitch, he act like he didn't went to Vietnam and back. Bet you had a piece of plexiglass that cut your ear. But I knew. I, 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 he, no, he doesn't have my vote either at all. I knew but, it was fake because either you, either you're so terrible of a shot that you hit his ear, or you're good enough to hit his ear. So that that whole thing just seems so su suspicious to me. Like, how are you? Like that kid really was that specific to hit your ear out of out of. All out of your and that's big what I'm saying. Body. I don't even think I, I don't even believe that I don't even believe that a bullet hit his ear. I'm nah, telling you, I think, I think it was think plexiglass. I don't think a bullet hit his ear either. Yeah, I believe it was the fucking plexiglass. They said it was uh from a teleprompter or something. Co correct. Yeah. And then he stood up and, and, and tried to put his arm up like he like, like he was like he was some war. <laughs> he said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, let me get my shoe. Right. 
Let like me, he's hold on. Boy, let, wait a minute. Let me get my shoe. Let me see that picture of him underneath that podium. <laughs> here we go, here we go. I'm like, what? Look at look at him. Look at look at him down here. How did they get that up close shot? Right. It was playing. How did they get that up close shot like you know, that? Man, if, if you know if you watch the video of You're the fired. Whole thing, yeah. Do you know that there was a woman even after the shot? She was still she, recording. And her sign said uh something uh, her t-shirt or something. Didn't, it, didn't her T-shirt or something say Biden or something? It was a woman that was back there that was videoing behind something. Him, yeah, you know, behind him. I can't remember what her shirt said. This is the white boy who killed him. I mean, who shot him. Yeah, here, right here. That was a Freudian that slip. Was the first one. That's the side view, but this is the front picture. He so, looked crazy. But he was a Republican. I know. And he's he's a right-wing Republican. And he was a part of some... Um, some group that's in support of um, militarized guns and all of that kind of shit. And it's just like, they don't give a fuck when these schools are shot up. They didn't give a fuck when them black people up in uh, up in Buffalo were killed in that grocery store. They said, Or them black people that were killed down there in South Carolina in that church. They, they didn't said, give a fuck. They said, the shirt said, Biden, you're fired. Really bad. That's what they said the shirt said. Oh, Biden, really? Biden, you're fired. Oh, I thought you were being messy. Oh, no, oh. I read the comment. They said, Biden, you're fired. Oh, wow. Um, Unfortunately, they're saying that's Jeffrey's cousin. So that wasn't the guy that actually shot him. Yeah, that's the guy. Unfortunately, that that they put up. All right, Craig, I'm going to go deeper into my question. Okay, go ahead. Do you think that he's going to win this election? Unfortunately, I hope he won't. Um, uh, Craig, that was not the question. <laughs> that was not the question. I'm going. I'm. You could. Biden could be in a wheelchair, bitch, with an ox oxygen mask on his motherfucking face. I'm going down there and I'm pressing that. Right. But see, I think what's what's happening is there are so many people that are spending so much time talking about how Biden had that memory lapse during the debate, but nobody said that that shit about uh, Mitch McConnell. Nobody. I and mean, he's still like nobody really beat that drum over and over and over and over and over. That's and then nobody is beating the drum that Trump has 34 convictions. No one is beating the drum that Trump is all over those motherfucking Epstein, um, that Epstein case, those files. No one is beating the drum about the fact that Trump would not rent his properties to black people in yesteryear. No one is beating the drum that he is a misogynist, that he is a rapist, that he is a liar, that he spent... The entire debate. It, Biden may have had a memory lapse, but Trump never answered the question. Never answered the question. Never he answered lied the question. consistently. Consistently lied. But we're shrouded with conversation about Biden being too old and this, that, and the third. Well, that's why there's a that's why there's a vice president in place. But see, they don't want her to be the vice president. They don't want her to to secede him. That's the real issue. That is the real issue. And then you have people that are going on about what's happening in Palestine. I will never say that what's happening over there is okay. But we have got to pay attention to what's happening right here. Because, right. bitch, if we don't take care of what's happening right here, it's, what's happening over there is going to be happen happening right, right here. here. And, bitch, let me say this. Now, now our ancestors, bitch, they were in a lot better shape than we were, bitch, because they were out in the fields pulling uh, cotton and shit and tilling soil and shit. You know, they were built and shit like they were going to a gym every day, bitch, and they only had scraps to eat. So they were in tip-top shape, bitch. So when it was time to fight, they were they were prepared. Now, bitch, I don't know if we ready now. Because, bitch, y'all eating honey buns at, for breakfast and, and smothered pork chops and shit. Some of you can't run without an oxygen tank, without a goddamn... Uh, I know my parents love... Co correct. You can't run without your damn... Uh, your, uh, your oxygen, what was this, your asthma pump, your, bro, and shit. your bones brittle. And I, listen, listen, they said we're too fat for revolution. Correct. And well, I know some of you think that you're doing something when you do your little steps at work, and, and, you, and instead of taking the elevator up, you walk up the flight. That is not quite. That does not count. Not, yeah. I know some of you are walking in the parking lot. You think you're getting your steps in? You go to the mall on Saturday and you walk around the mall. Needs. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to look. Uh oh. -uh. That's a little soundproofing. Yes. Listen, I'm gonna need you to listen. I'm gonna need you to do a little something else. Put them cigarettes down. Put those hookahs down. No, I'm gonna Bitch, need we you about to, to be in a revolution. I'm gonna need you to put your social media pads down and go down there and vote. Please. I'm, I'm gonna need you to do that and don't vote for the. Do not vote. Please. For the, what's the what's the independent? 
Yeah, because if you vote independent, bitch, you might as well just go on and give it to Trump. Correct. And see, here's the thing. I don't want to hear shit about the lines were too long. Y'all stood over at that line at the Louis Vuitton after the pandemic? For the Jordans? Y'all be standing on them long ass lines. Y'all be camping out and shit the two nights before mm -hmm. Christmas and shit for uh, PlayStations and shit. I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing about I the lines were too long, that it was chilly outside or it was raining. I don't want to hear it. B bitch, bring you a sensible shoe. And when I say bitch, I'm not just talking about the women that are watching. I'm talking about to the fags. At P-H-A-G's. And the F-A-G. And correct. Bring you a nice biscuit, a salamander. <laughs> right. Where's some sketches? I don't want to hear shit about come my dad. Come my dad some slides. Because if your ancestors could be standing out there in them dress shoes, them kitten heels, walking across bridges and shit. Getting bit suits. by dogs. Correct. I don't want to hear shit about you didn't have time. I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing about you were sleepy and you had gone to the club the night before. Your job wouldn't give you time off, bitch. You take off for anything else. You take off to go down to, uh, to Vegas in Jamaica. Bitch, get to them polls, bitch. And make sure you know where your poll is before the day of. In fact, check your registration now, bitch. Make sure you register. What y'all saying? Y'all could do mail-in votes? <laughs> I don't want to hear a damn thing. I was tired and my legs was hurting. I don't want to hear shit. This is this is vital. I just want to know what's want to know what's going on. chair with you. I, I just want to wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you get that nigga milkshake? I didn't get him a milkshake. You know that nigga got dual citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you finally admit that? It's okay. I'm flying. You on, finally admit it's that? It's okay. I'm riding on the same plane with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm converting all my money to naira. <laughs> Bitch, I'm already looking for property outside. Bitch, I'm converting all my money to the IRA. I'm actually going to the Domin is the Dominican Republic. In well, America, you know, it's right? not hard to get a, no. a citizenship. Bitch, I'm Africa going now. over there to get all right. Listen, I was going to say something real messy, but I ain't going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Girl, I'm looking at Portugal. After the show, you got to tell me what you're about to say. Don't do it. I didn't say put it on the screen, Maddie. I said tell me what you're about to say. Maddie? That Maddie. bitch put. Trying not to go in there right now. I'm trying to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good Jesus, dear Lord. Mm. Trick, quick. You see, <laughs> I tried to go in another route. I see. I'm trying to get better. I see. I heard what they were saying, <laughs> so I'm applying. I heard what they were saying. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> but I still had to get it out my chest. Correct. <laughs>